Hi friends, very uh, good evening. This is Ashok Raj. In this video, we are going to discuss about uh, what is delta t and what is slow delta t, what is high delta t, and uh, what is uh, mass flow rate, what is volume flow rate, and how to find how 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 we can calculate the chiller volume flow rate. So all these things we are going to discuss in this video. It may be a very lengthy video, but definitely there are a lot of input, a uh, uh, lot of uh, details you, you may. Uh, take uh, you may uh, take away from uh, from this video okay so first things delta t so uh, in hvc world the most of the people are searching uh, are using this word delta t so delta t is nothing but for example if you having a chiller and uh, definitely one hour once you will putting the chilled water leaving temperature and rewarding temperature and also you are calculating the delta t so delta t is nothing but what is nothing but the simple and if you if you have a chiller and one is from input uh, the 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 pipeline is coming from the uh, your uh, building load okay another it is going to the your building load one is coming from the building load and uh, i mean it is one coming from your building and it is going to the your building where you are maintaining where the area you have to cool no that is i am saying the building load okay so the water is entering no that water temperature it may be a for example the water entering temperature to the chiller and 20 degrees celsius as in that it is at 20 degrees celsius the water is leaving from the chiller it is 10 degrees celsius the entering and leaving water temperature the difference of this temperature is called delta t so it is a 20 degrees celsius and this is a 10 degrees celsius if you are uh, but uh, um, uh, if you are doing minus uh, 20 degrees celsius minus 10 degrees celsius it is nothing but 10 degrees celsius. it is a delta t assume that Okay, I'm just giving an example and uh, your uh, chiller design delta T is 10 degrees Celsius as per the manufacturer chiller design delta T is 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, and so in this scenario, I'm just uh, telling the different scenario. So your uh, 10 degree is a what? 10 degree is a uh, design delta T. Suppose the entering water temperature, leaving water temp temperature is uh, difference. I mean is more than the 10 degrees Celsius. Assume that it is a delta T is 12 degrees Celsius. It means that it is a high delta T. If you are, if you are, if you are, if, if you are, if you are, if you are uh, finding out the chiller uh, delta T is higher than the design, it means that the chiller is actually working very eff effectively. Why? Because it is always trying to cool down the uh, your heat load. So we can easily find out. Okay, the chiller is perfectly working, efficiently working. It is trying to cool down the. Uh, it is trying to achieve the, the your chiller set point. If the your set point it may be a ten or it may be a whatever it is. What what uh, what is what is your set point? It is always trying to reach that set point. Okay. So uh, if the um, if your delta t is more than your design, it is we we uh, we we will call as a high delta t. So in the same way, in another way. So if your delta t is coming below the your uh, design delta t. For example, if I am getting the temperature between the chilled water in and out, I am getting 5 degrees Celsius. The, the, the design delta T is 10, but I am getting the 5. So, it means that it is a low delta T. So, we are calling as low, low delta T. So, if you are chiller and chiller system, if you are running with a low delta T for a long time, and definitely you will be getting a lot of problem in your chiller system, and your uh, energy is, uh, you, you, you are losing your energy. Okay. So such a scenario due to this, the, the effects, lot of effects, a lot of problem you will be facing. That is we called as low delta T syndrome. Okay. So in order, in order to avoid the low delta T syndrome and we have to uh, do the water balance and we have to do, we have to select the uh, walls and a uh, uh, lot of things we have to do it. Okay. So before you are designing something, you are chilled water system. No. So you have to think all these things. Okay. So I will you uh, explain in different video about uh, low low delta T syndrome. So I am coming to the another topic. Okay, I am just giving just a small outline about delta T, high delta T, and uh, low delta T. What is low delta T syndrome? Okay. So I am coming to the uh, another uh, point, another thing. Uh, what is mass flow rate? Okay. So mass flow rate is uh, so okay. So before uh, discussing mass flow rate, I am telling volume flow rate. Okay. You are assuming that this is the one of the pipe. One of the pipe, whatever it is, one of the pipe. The water is water is started to flowing uh, through this uh, this pipe and it is leaving through this pipe. Okay, and so the water, the amount of the volume of uh, fluid is flowing through this cross section, right? A certain time period, it will it will go, right? So so but the, the difference between these two, the between the volume of flow and time. See volume of how in 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 certain in one hour how. Uh, 
how much of volume of fluid is transferred to this pipe we called as a volume flow rate okay so volume flow rate is nothing but volume of fluid flowing through a cross section per unit time is called volume flow rate so uh, generally the people is denoting volume flow rate is in terms of q okay q is equal to v divided by t so q is equal to v divided by t so v is nothing but volume so volume uh, i am just uh, mentioning in the uh, liters and time i am taking i am i am i am mentioning as a second okay so liter per second is the unit of the uh, volume flow rate and also if you are knowing if you don't know the volume and time and also we can we can easily find out the volume flow rate by by uh, using this equation q is equal to va so v is the velocity of the uh, fluid and a is the area of the cross section okay so this is the basic i just want to convey this one why because it will be very uh, useful things in upcoming our videos okay and next things volume flow rate so uh, i mean mass flow rate mass flow rate in the same way the amount of mass is flowing through uh, the cross section per unit time is called mass flow rate okay so mass flow rate and uh, we have another uh, formula the ma mass flow rate m divided by t mass m m means mass mass we are mass we, in terms of kg the mass is nothing but it's a kg we are measuring that mass in the kg kilogram so kilogram divided by time in terms of second okay so kg per second and also there is another one formula in the if you don't know the kg per second if you don't know the mass and time i mean uh, uh, mass and uh, time and we can able to find out from this equation you can able to find out the mass flow rate so mass flow rate is equal to density into density of fluid so whatever the, if you, the fluid is uh, liquid the density is equal to 1 right so uh, density of the fluid into q q is nothing but uh, volume flow rate a discharge of fluid also the q is also the people sometimes referring as a discharge of uh, discharge the discharge and uh, volume flow rate uh, both are equal okay so uh, from this equation you can able to find out the mass flow rate and the q uh, q also you can uh, uh, rewritten i mean written as a v into a right so and m is equal to m m m is equal to mass flow rate is equal to density into volume into area this is the another one formula you just keep it in your mind it will be very useful in the your uh, upcoming uh, calculation or uh, our upcoming videos so coming to the main important formula this is the formula for um, finding the chiller uh, uh, flow rate chiller Uh, chill, uh, chiller flow rate. Okay, chiller. Uh, okay, chiller, uh, chiller uh, flow rate. Okay, so this is the one of the uh, uh, formula. So Q is equal to M C P delta T. So every people will know about this formula. Those who are not know, so the calculation will be very useful to you. So Q is equal to M C P delta T. So I just want to find out the mass flow rate and volume flow rate of the chillers, and uh, I am keeping M here, and uh, Q will be uh, coming this side. And C, C P and delta T coming uh, in the uh, denominator. Okay, so numerator denominator. Okay, so and Q divided by C P delta T. So Q is nothing but what? For example, if if I am having a hundred uh, year chiller. Okay, assume that I am having hundred year of hundred year of chiller. I just want to convert that hundred year into a electrical kilowatt. Okay, the it is a chiller chiller uh, chiller coil input in kilowatt. The Q is nothing but chiller coil input in kilowatt. A uh, hundred TR. The chiller uh, capacity is hundred TR. I just want to convert that uh, TR into uh, uh, kilowatt electrical input. One TR is equal to three point five one six kilowatt. So hundred into three point five one six kilowatt. Uh, 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 what is the amount will come? And three five one three five sorry three five one point six kilowatt will come instead of uh, Q. I am just putting three five one three five one three five one three five one point six kilowatt. Okay. And coming back to the uh, this uh, CP. So CP is nothing but what is a specific uh, is a uh, as, uh, uh, is is a spe uh, specific specific uh, okay uh, specific heat of the uh, liquid okay specific heat of the water CP is nothing but specific heat of the water the specific heat of the water the constant value you are getting the constant value four point one eight six kilojoule per kg Kelvin so four point one eight six kg uh, I mean four point one eight six kilojoule per kg Kelvin it is the specific heat of the uh, Uh, water cp cp is nothing but specific heat of the water i am just entering this value uh, to this here and delta t is 10 i already told right the entering water temperature is 20 and leaving water temperature is 10 so difference between the, this uh, entering water temperature leaving water temperature is delta t that is at 10 degrees celsius if you are uh, dividing these values and if you are eliminating this uh, doing the conversion and doing eliminating all this uh, 
uh, units and you will be getting uh, the mass flow i mean mass flow rate is equal to 8.399 kilo ju uh, kg per second so the, this 8.39 okay so the people will getting uh, confusion so what you told in the uh, beginning, beginning of this video we are going to find out the chiller volume flow rate but you are saying that is a mass flow rate of the uh, chiller uh, is uh, 8.399 kg per second so already i told the water is a standard fluid so volume flow rate and mass flow rate is both are equal so the volume flow rate the volume flow rate of the uh, chiller is 8.399 liter per second so it means that so for example it it, it the, the chiller the 100 year chiller is able to extract the 100 ton of refrigeration of heat load at 8.3 uh, 8 8.39 liter per second of volume flow rate so it means that this is the meaning okay so the the people who doing the uh, who doing the water balancing so they will find out the uh, chiller uh, volume flow rate so accordingly they will do the accordingly they will do the volume uh, i mean water balancing right so that's it so this video definitely it will be uh, 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 it, it, it will be very helpful to you i i hope i don't know whether it will be helpful or, uh, or not and also my communication i just improving my communication skill also so definitely in our upcoming videos you will be get, uh, you will be seeing lot of improvement from our uh, from my uh, deliverables in uh, uh, way of communication okay so uh, so if you want to see the same video in your convenient language like tamil and hindi so you please go to the engineers youtube channel uh, in the youtube and you may uh, see all this video in the uh, your convenient language like tamil and hindi okay so thank you thank you for watching my channel so in this video we we discussed delta t uh, uh, what is delta t what is uh, delta t what is uh, low delta t high delta t mass flow rate and volume flow rate and how to find out the vol chiller for vol volumetric flow rate so everything we discussed so if you if you if you uh, so uh, if you have any doubt uh, on this section you please uh, mention it in the comment box and if you are not uh, subscribing our channel and please do subscribe and keep supporting uh, uh, our channel and keep watching our all the videos okay so thank you. Bye-bye.